Hey everyone, Wall here, and here's the new series. That's right, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Might as well go back to some Pokemon. I mean, I, I do want some more diverse things. But let's go back into this. I actually don't remember if I deleted my last save, so... Oh well, if I didn't, then I mean, whatever. There you have it. That's the intro of the game. I do have a save file. Okay, well, we'll just delete that. Your save data is deleted. We'll stop. I don't care. Sure. Do you really want... Yes. There we go. Uh... No, I really don't care. I should have done this beforehand. Too late now. Cool. I don't get why people rag on this game so much. I mean, it's not the best in story, but like, I mean, it's better than nothing. Wait. I mean, then again, last time I beat this game was like when I was 12 or something. Probably way younger. So I guess we'll see. Where? Where am I? Is this a dream? Am I... Am I dreaming? Oh. What was that? I'm sure of it. That was definitely a voice. Someone is calling to me. You. You who can now hear my voice. Might you be a human? If you are, then please, listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need... Help! What? What was that just now? What could it mean, those Pokemon? No, it's not reflecting my face, don't worry. And now there's something fuzzy. Huh? Wait, that blurry reflection. Could that be... me? What now? My reflection. It wavered and then shifted. Almost as if I changed somehow. Now you do have a limited choice of starters. I will admit that. But I already have who I want to pick. You also don't have a personality test. I I look like I look like Snivy. But I mean, this one's not that bad.
I I knew it. I really did turn into Snivy. Huh? What's that light? I don't know why, but I feel as if that voice is calling for help. I feel like it came from there. Didn't that voice say something about saving the Pokemon world? Ah. No. Ow. Everything's spinning. Can't see. Hey, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Come on. Someone's calling to me. Who could be? <sighs> I can almost make out a figure. Is that? No, yes. <laughs> Why does it default? Oh no. Yeah, I decided on Axie as my partner. Hey, you're awake. You okay? What? A p Pokemon? A Pokemon is talking to me. You sure you aren't hurting or anything? Th that's right. I got turned into a Pokemon, so I guess I can understand other Pokemon now. Does it hurt anywhere? Can you hear me? Really? Whew, that's a relief. You know you fell straight out of the sky, right? Out of the sky? Right. Yeah, I think... There was some kind of light. Then I think I fell for a long time. Boy, are you lucky or what? You haven't got a single scratch after falling all that way? That's fantastic. I'm Axu, by the way. What about you? What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... Wall? Your name's Wall, huh? Well, nice to meet you. But, where'd you come from, Wall? Well, I mean, I know you came from the sky just now. But I haven't seen you around here before. So I was asking where you're originally from, where your home is. Of course, it's pretty mysterious how you fell out of the sky like that. But you can't tell me that you actually live up there, right? Huh. Well, I suppose not. But even if I say I came from the other side of the sky, it's not like anyone would believe me, not anyone normal. If there was at least some sort of hole in the sky or something, then maybe. But I don't want to lie, either. I guess I'll just have to go ahead and spill the beans. What? You're actually human? And you got turned into a Pokemon because some voice was crying for help? So you fell straight out of the human world and into this one? I, I guess it was too much to hope that anyone would believe me. Alright, got it. I believe you. I believe your story, Wall. What? Just like that? Without any proof or anything? Sure, I know it's pretty fantastic. It's a pretty fantastic story to believe. Humans don't exist anywhere except in fairy tales, or that's what I always thought. And it seems totally impossible that a human could just turn into a Pokemon and fall out of the sky one day. But, you know what I think? There are lots of mysteries in the world. But the truth is that maybe those things aren't really all that mysterious at all. Maybe they're just things I don't know about yet. And that's why they seem mysterious. Wow, that's pretty open-minded. That's why I want to learn more about all kinds of things and see all kinds of things. I want to meet mythical Pokemon that no one else has ever seen. I want to explore ancient ruins and deep caves. And more than anything, I want to have an adventure. That's right, I want to be an adventurer. And that's exactly why I traveled all the way here to- Ugh! Ugh, I forgot. The most important meeting of my life. Ugh, I've got to get there ASAP, but... The path ahead looks really tough. 
It'll be hard to make it through alone. Ugh, what should I do? That's it. Walt, please. Will you come with me on the path ahead? My journey is so close to being over, and everything I want is so near. But if I don't hurry, I might not make it in time. I'm really not sure if I'll be able to make it through on my own. Yeah, there's no more time to explain. Just come with me, okay? W what? Ragged Mountain, Western Entrance. I don't think there's actually chapters in this game. I know Explorers of Sky, Time and Darkness do in Super Mystery Dungeon, but I already have a thing on Super Mystery Dungeon that I don't want to delete, and I don't have Time, Sky, or Darkness. So, yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. It's just bursting with nature here. This way, Wall. Come on, hurry. Just to clarify, there's gonna be one dungeon per episode. Huh? The bridge has collapsed. What am I gonna do? How am I supposed to get there now? Ah. Looks like there's no choice but to try going through there. Let's go, Wall. Ragged Mountain, Western Cave. So here's the actual gameplay. Get moving and look for the stairs. Use the D-pad or circle pad to move. Hold B while moving and you can dash. Standard that B is used for moving. Now... No, that doesn't reach far. I thought they did. So, basically all you do is just hold L and you press a button to use your move. Some attacks are ranged, some attacks are close by. Some Pokemon can be asleep as the Gothita was earlier, but this one isn't. If a Pokemon's asleep, it will not attack until you attack it or get close. If it's one that you have to attack for it to wake up, it's most likely super strong and hard to defeat. We'll run into those occasions. And here there's an Orenberry. I can't remember if they heal only 10 HP or if they fully heal you in this game. And that's dashing. I think in Super Mystery Dungeon it drops frames while you dash. And stab still applies in this game. Just just letting you know. And the stairs, you get to the next floor with them. Dragon Mountain, control plateau. Central plateau. Why did I say control? Oh no, this game isn't too hard to learn how to play, but it, it can get challenging. Now this is something new to Mystery Dungeon series. There's an outside dungeon. And it's not in Super Mystery Dungeon. Not from how much I've played. I've only done main game and some post game. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there's two items here. So, unlike Super Mystery Dungeon, if you know that very well, not this, if your partner dies, you fail too. So you gotta watch out. Your goal basically is just get to the stairs and, like, try not to die. And if I can find another enemy Pokemon to show this off with. If you press A, you don't do an attack. You just, I mean, you do an attack, but it only does 5 damage. Except it's using Pound, I'm not. If you hold R, you can actually go corners without having to worry about that risk of not going corners. And if you press Y, you can change your direction. 
Oh, you can't talk to your partner in this game. <laughs> I hate using the regular attack. But yeah, I think that's the basics. Oh, and if you tap B, you bring up your items. And X will pause it, as with most games nowadays. I think that's everything. And if you run out of PP on your moves, which, trust me, it gets serious sometimes, you're gonna have to wait for an elixir to show up or else you're screwed. But I think that covers this dungeon. Alright, we finally made it to the other side. We're almost there now. Let's give it our all. Movement's still jagged. Oh. Sweet, I forgot about that. If you run into a wall, you actually slow down, unlike Super Mystery Dungeon. It's just something interesting. And your partner doesn't follow beside you, your partner follows behind you. Oh, I should have did save and return to title. Because we'll go over the rest tomorrow. Wow, already 16 minutes. So, I'm only doing one dungeon per episode, as I said, so... I mean, it was a great tutorial one. <laughs> Bye!